Hey YouTube, this is Brad. Thanks to everyone who lended your suggestions for games that I could play with my girlfriend. What I was aiming to do is, on alternating weeks, if you know well enough by now, every second week I play games with you guys, and every other week, that in-between week, my girlfriend's home. So I try to spend time with her, and what I'm trying to do sneakily is to get her to play games with me. She normally, she's a little bit of a gamer, but not not anywhere near as much as me. I mean, I love to play pretty much anything, and I just like playing games. I find it enjoyable in the competitive sense. Um, so I managed to get her to play a couple of games. I was trying to get her to play some very basic games that I could play like right beside her on this computer. That's why I suggested, um, sorry, I'm very hot, it's very hot in this room today. I tried to get her to play games that were very simple, so basically I was aiming at flash games, and one problem I came across with some flash games was as soon as I cranked the volume for the mic, it cranked the volume in the background for the flash game, and some of those were just difficult to control. It was either like massive volume or no volume, so unfortunately because I left the volume on, I also drowned out our voices in a couple of games. What I decided to do though as I mentioned, I think I mentioned it in Twitter, which is somewhere you should be uh, following me if you want to see what I'm in the middle of doing. Like, in between videos, I'm often tweeting about what's coming and what's going to happen, so checking me on Twitter is definitely worth doing. But what I said on Twitter was I was creating uh, one of the games and I was just subtitling it so that you could watch it and hopefully still get something out of it. And that game was The House, and I really enjoyed it. And I actually recorded The House 2 with her, and I'm going to see what your opinions are of the first one as to whether or not I should bother subtitling the second one. It does take a bit of time. It took a few hours to go through and do each frame that needed subtitling, but overall, I enjoyed the video. I enjoy the end result, so I'm happy enough with that, so hopefully you enjoy it. Anyway, I'd like to thank everyone again who gave me suggestions on what to play, and a few of them were, and I'll go through and I'll give you reasons why I may not have been able to do them, or whether I did do them at all. Slender and Robot Unicorn Attack. I played Robot Unicorn Attack, the volume was massive, and I think copyright issues might be a problem, but I will try to upload it at some point, and if not, I will try to replay it on my own at least. It looked like a fun game, it's pretty trippy, and I'll see what I can do with that. Slender, I did get her to play it, but um, she was really bad at it, and um, she got one page and didn't really freak out in an entertaining way, so what I might do is I might just do a highlight thing with that. I'll see what I can get out of it, because she didn't have both earphones in, so she wasn't really getting the immersive feeling to it, so she wasn't that scared. She was just kind of worried about being caught. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty awful. So I don't know if I'll upload that or not. Worms, I did download that, but um, I couldn't get it to work in time, so unfortunately I couldn't do that this this time. Minecraft, uh, I did. I was just trying to play games on the same computer at the moment because she's she doesn't have uh, pretty much any of the games that I do on her computer, so that would be a whole thing. One day, what I would like to do is to get a couple of basic uh, multiplayer games, or at least get her into the draw my thing events and get her through Skype, so that way I'll be able to record her from my end, because her computer, being Mac OS, doesn't have um, any of what I've put on my computer, so it's a whole whole issue. That explains TMC's query, which you'll see on the bottom here. Guilty Gear, I had a look at it, it's a f um, fighting game, kind of like Street Fighter, that's how people fight. Um, it's not really her thing, so I didn't didn't give that one a go. It it would probably... She's not very good at them, and I don't think she really enjoys them. That's not not that you would have known that, that's fine, but I just had a quick look at it. I was just looking for stuff that she would enjoy to hopefully coax her into doing more of this. Um, and again, Worms didn't work. And Tony Hawk's, I honestly just forgot about. So, um, unfortunately, I didn't get to play that one. Binding of Isaac, I didn't know if that was 
two people on the same computer, you might have to explain to me how that works, because if it, if it is, I might give it a chance, but it would have to be something I could get done in a few hours. That's kind of the long longevity that I have her on the computer, because she has other things that she wants to do on the weekend, not just play my games. So if that's not too long, just let me know. I mean, if it's if it's not too long, and if it is definitely two people somehow on the same computer, I'll definitely look into it. Uh, but for the time being, I just didn't get to that one. Super Mario Portal, I had a look at. I actually downloaded it. I do have now. I couldn't play it because you need... I think you need controllers or um, because I only have one mouse. I don't know if you could play it by putting a second mouse in on... I don't know, but to aim your like, little portal gun thing, you needed the mouse, mostly. I'm sure you're going to tell me that there's other ways to do it, but just for simplicity's sake, um, I would have wanted the mouse for her or me, and um, so that wasn't really a go, but I will try to play that on my own at some stage and record that. But thank you for your suggestion. And Awesome Noughts, I did have a look at that, and again, the only reason I didn't go with it was because it was just a, it's a paid game, and I couldn't, I think that was the same problem, I think you need control, control pad for that one as well. I'm, I'm not too sure, I might be getting it mixed up. I've had a look at a lot of games on Steam at the moment, and I'm kind of getting them mixed together. One I'd like to get at one stage will be um, Castle Cra Crashes? Castle Crashes? I don't know. It's a bit gibberish. I'd like to get that at some stage and play that with you guys as well, and hopefully her at some stage, because it looks like a lot of fun. And Gary's mod. Um, I've had a lot of people telling me that that's pretty fun to play, and it's not just a creative thing. You can kind of play pre-existing maps. So that might be a go. Um, I might look at hosting events with that as well in the future. So at the moment, we're just doing the Draw My Thing thing, and on the Sundays we're doing the Left for Dead, and we'll see how many people we get each time. And once we've hit a point where I'm just maxed out, I'm going to have to look at doing time uh, times, separate times, say like 9 a.m., and then the next one at 11 or something like that, give you a couple of hours each. We will try to do our best. I really enjoy playing these kind of games with you guys, so it's something I'm definitely going to look at uh, making possible. That's all the gaming stuff today. Oh, it's very hot, and thank you for being subscribed. I know that has nothing to do with being hot, but whatever it does, on another random note, I bought this... Wait, wait. Calm. God, I'm terrible. Calm in a can. Not that I need more calm. And on the back, it says, Created to help you stay calm and in control. Escape is a refreshingly relaxing drink made with passion flower. Chamomile. Chamomile. Either one of those names. And valerian, which sounds like some kind of drug. It tastes like shit and didn't really do anything for me. So if you ever see that out and about, I wouldn't suggest it. Hopefully they're not watching this. Although I'm still pretty heavy on my my mothers or um, monsters, giant energy drinks. I really got to get off those. Perhaps I should look at gung-ho or something like that one day. I know every Scottish person does it! Okay, guys, I've lost my mind. I'm going to leave you with a few outtakes, and hopefully you enjoyed the special comments thingy that would have been happening around yay high, chest high. I will be doing more of that to keep you guys involved in these videos. Hope you enjoyed. See you in my other videos. Bye. Three, two, one. Hey, YouTube, this is Brad. I wanted to do a simple little vlog today and answer... Hey YouTube, this is Brad. I just wanted to do a video to thank you all for your suggestions last week when I was asking for games to play with my girlfriend. We had a fair bit of fun. Are any of you scared of clown? No. Good. There's some clown zombies in this one, I think. You will be scared of clowns.
I really like the idea of having lava sort of in my place if I can't use it. It would fix everyone's problem. And basically what I did in the first two episodes was I just did jobs for people, for other companies. And I registered my own company. I think it was just super Brad. So it's Matrix. I gotta do the Matrixy thing. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's epic. That was really cool. Well done. Ball throw. I love these.